In this episode of Wow! The Word on Wednesdays, we continue our study of Adam Hamilton's book, Words of Life, Jesus, and the Promise of the Ten Commandments today. Today we're talking about the Ninth Commandment, yet another commandment on how we are to treat each other. From Exodus chapter 20, verse 16, do not testify falsely against your neighbor. I trust all of us have heard stories about false testimony sending an innocent person to prison. We can't imagine the suffering of that kind of injustice, knowing you didn't do what you're accused of, knowing that people intentionally lie to make it happen. And their lies make you suffer, maybe for the rest of your life. Bearing false witness has profound consequences. And we know this commandment goes well beyond a court of law. You've probably heard the phrase, our word is our bond. We want to believe people what they're saying is true and that they'll keep their promises. So short of sending an innocent person to prison for decades, our words really do carry great weight. If we lie about someone, if we put them down, we're destroying their reputation. Rabbi Art Nemetoff said to Adam Hamilton in the video segment for this chapter, when we humiliate someone, it's like murder. We take their soul from them. He and Adam Hamilton also speak to the impact we have in the digital world. And here's a quote from the book. We live in a time when it is increasingly difficult to tell what is true. In our nation and local communities, our traditional sources for investigating, discerning, and reporting the truth are caught in the political polarization that is dividing our country, end quote. If we're on Twitter or Facebook and make a false claim, we hurt others. Sometimes we might just be sharing something someone else wrote because we like them or we agree with them. If what they wrote was false and we share that, we have violated the ninth commandment, regardless of whether we knew if the statement was true or false, or maybe it was half true, not good enough. Sometimes we might make a sarcastic comment or we're feeling snarky and we speak ill of someone, we're causing them harm. We might be embarrassing them or we engage in gossip and join others in thinking less of someone and being less than loving in the words that we share and in the words that we're willing to hear. We should never be a part of this injustice to others, especially when that person isn't there to defend themselves or to set the record straight. Would you even say those things in front of that person? And just like the other commandments we've studied, we don't just focus on the part that says do not, we focus on the positive, the other side of the coin. In this case, to me, it means at least two things. First, to tell the truth. And we're going back to saying, let's be people of integrity. People need to trust what you say and what you do. They need to know that you are a genuine person, a person of good character, and not a hypocrite. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 1, be careful that you don't practice your religion in front of people to draw their attention. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven." End quote. It's not to get their approval or to impress them. And the second is to build others up. Again, another quote from Adam Hamilton, our words are powerful. With them, we can destroy or build up. The ninth commandment calls us not to do harm with our words. 
And Jesus and the early church compel us to use our words to bless, to build up, to do good to others. By refraining from doing evil with our words and positively using our words to do good, we literally speak words of life, end quote. We can change a person and change the world with the words we speak. Let them be words of gratitude and blessing and encouragement. And I wonder who needs to hear these words of life from you. Let us pray. God of love, we are aware of how powerful our words are and how much they reflect our inner being. Help us to tell the truth. Help us to be gentle and loving with our words. Help us to be clear. God, we lean on you and depend on you to guide our thoughts and our words. Help us to be a good witness of your love in everything we say. Gratefully, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for being a part of this episode of WOW! The Word on Wednesdays. May God bless you.